In episode six, we talked about uh, grid auto flow, where if we let's open this one up here, when you have more items than can fit in the grid, by default, it'll just wrap onto the next line and create you another implicit row. However, you can switch grid auto flow to column, meaning that uh, when we run out of room in our grid, it will just add additional implicit columns instead of adding additional rows. Now, I hinted at a third option, which was grid auto flow dense. Uh, so we're going to look at how that works right now. So open up dense and dense start. We've got 70 items here and we'll make a grid of 10 equal items. So we'll say grid template columns, G to C, repeat 10, one FR. Good. So we've got our 10 items across. Now, I want to make just a bunch of them different sizes so that we're going to end up some with some irregularity. So, and then we're going to select every sixth one and just make a bunch of them uh, different sizes and be able to span. So we'll say item, nth child, every sixth one, we're going to say background, corn, flower, blue. That's nice. And then we will say grid column, span six. And OK, here's what's happening. Let's let's understand why we're getting these gaps and, and what we can do about fixing them. So uh, the way that the browser lays out your grid is it takes the all of the different spots that we have and we've got 10 across here and it, it takes the first item and says, OK, can I fit it? Yeah. Can I fit it? Yeah. Can I fit it? Yeah. And it keeps going and then it gets to this six one and we know that it's going to take six spots in order to fit this into our grid. However, we only have five spots left. So what happens? Well, it just breaks onto the next row and it will continue uh, adding that item. The downside is that it doesn't fill in these spots without with the extra ones that could fit like seven, eight, nine and ten could easily fit themselves up here. So what we can actually do with that is if we go back to our grid and we say grid auto flow dense. What's going to happen? Give it a save. Ooh, very nice is it will then do one, two, three, four, five, and then it will hit six and say, I can't fit it. So let's go. Uh, let's go on to the next line and, and we can fit it there. Good. And then it gets to seven and then it goes back to the start and says, hey, is there any spots where I could just sort of wiggle this one in or maybe just fit it in? And it says, yeah, of course you can fit it in here. And then we have seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. And then we hit 12. And at this point, we're, we're where the 13 is. And of course, it's not going to fit. So that will go on to the next line. And then once we hit 13, it's going to go back to the first available uh, grid column or grid row that we have and see if it can fit it in. So it's pretty neat. Let's let's actually take that off just for a second and uh, go ahead and make some bigger ones here. So we'll say item nth child every 8n. We're going to make the background. Uh, Ooh, tomato delicious and we will make them span two so grid column span two good and then let's take then let's go and do one more selector and and do some rows so say every nine n we will say grid row span two and that will just make a bunch of the, the random ones. Good. So now we have all of these different spaces available to us, and it would be really nice if they would sort of just fit them in where as possible. So if you do not care about what your uh, order actually looks like in CSS Grid, you can turn this dense back on. And then it will just try and fit all of the different values that you want. Same thing will go as if, like, for example, this 18 here. Let's go to dot item 18 and give it a background of green, yellow. And oh, that's not going to work because nth child is more specific. So let's let's do some dirty, dirty deeds here. Div. Oh, no, not div. How does CSS even work? You know what? Screw it. Beautiful. OK, so we can move this item to the end. So we say grid column end negative one so it'll anchor it oh, at the end oh, again again we're gonna need any important there and that will anchor it over at the end and css will always 
lay out the ones that need to go in a specific spot first, and then it will say, okay, well, I'm dense. And as I start to auto lay out the rest of the items, I will then look for a spot that I can sort of uh, squeak it into. And in this case, it's actually working out really nicely for us. And there is no extra spots, but um, it's not the the perfect masonry that you, you might think it will be every now and then. Um, that's just because sometimes you will have holes um, because there just is not uh, a specific shape for what you have. So we're going to do an example with a photo gallery coming up where um, I sort of show how how you can sort of like load it with lots of these little ones. And in this case, I've loaded it with lots of these little um, orange or these little yellow ones that are just one spot by one spot and they can fit really anywhere. Um, and we're going to do that with our photo gallery one as well. So grid auto flow dense is really nice. When you don't have it, you got lots of holes. When you do turn it on, everything fits nicely interchanged. 